let's make some 3D text. Click and drag and delete whatever is in your default view. Hit Shift A and then go to text RX and 90 to make the text stand upright. Let's scroll in and take a look at our text. We can orbit around our text using the middle mouse button. Uh, let's go into our text tab here, hit geometry and extrude. Then you can stop at the, your desired value. And if you want to bevel your text, you can do that in this panel right here. Hold down shift to, to make the finer adjustments. And if you want to change your fonts, that's also a place for this to do that as well. Just click this folder icon and it will open a file explorer to find your font. If you want to type something else, then you can hit tab and you can delete it by pressing backspace and you can type something else. Hit tab to go out of the edit mode again. And I'm going to right click and set the origin to center of mass volume. So now it's easier to adjust later on if we're going to rotate it or animate it later. Next up, let's add a quick background. So hit shift A and add a mesh, a plane. This plane is also lying on the ground. So hit RX and 90 as well here. Hit G and Y to move that back and hit left click to apply and hit S to scale it. Scale it quite big. Now let's hit one or nine number pad and hit uh, Control Alt and zero to make the camera point at our text. So if we press the middle mouse button or Alt, to go out of the camera view. Next up, let's duplicate our windows. Left click in the top right corner over here. Click and drag and release. With the mouse hovering on the right side, press zero and hit set on your keyboard and hit rendered. Now on the right side here, we can see the exact result of what our rendered text will look like. So as you can see, it's quite dark. That's because there's no light in our scene yet. So let's add three lights to this scene or four lights rather. Hit Shift A and go all the way down to light and hit area light. Hit G to grab it. And then we're going to hit seven and we're going to move it to this side. Hit three on the number pad to look at your side view. And then going to rotate the, the lamp this way. I move it with G and just adjust it using the combination R and G. So let's have a nice fill in the key light here. Hit Shift D to duplicate the lamp. R to rotate again. And let's have a let's have a backlight as well. Uh, Shift D and R to rotate this. We can also increase the strength of our lamps on this right side here. It's in watts, so you can just increase this. And as I increase it. If we look here, you can see that our backlight is shining on our edges of our text here. Lighting your scene is, is a very important part of making things look good. So choose your lamps, increase the brightness of whatever you are, whatever you look you're going for. And this background here, I'm going to add a lamp that's pointed at the background. So we get this halo style effect. Let's duplicate another light and we'll position this against our background so we can get this halo style effect on our background. But I think the lamp and the background is too close to our text object to have the desired effect. So let's move both these objects on the Y axis. So I'll just click the lamp and the background, G and Y, and I'll move it backwards like this. And I'll click just the background and scale it with S. So make sure it's scale all the way outside our view here. Let's have a better look at this to see everything more clearly, I guess. Just hide the gizmos and hide the overlays. So now you can see exactly the finished render. If I want to have like a colored hue going on behind my text, I can actually choose my lamp here and change this color. Now I get this halo style effect on my background. And I also want this background to be uh, pitch black instead of grayish. Let's go to this world tab here. Just drag this down all the way down to black. And now you can see that we have a much cooler looking background. So let's go ahead and look at our text again. Let's um, maybe rotate it so we can actually see that it's 3D text. We can also hit R two times. Now we can 
freeform rotate our text. Left click to apply and R again to rotate. Now we get this cool 3D looking style effect here. Let's also change our lamps to adjust for this for this rotation and maybe let's add some blue fill light instead of the the white light that's the default one so i'm just going to use the same principle here uh, with double clicking my r key on the keyboard and just positioning the lamp to hit the back side of the um, text and let's choose with this backlight selected let's choose a blue color and i think these lamps here can be stronger and I think also they can be bigger. So you can hit S to scale them larger and I'm going to increase the light value here. This one as well. So it's kind of stands out from the background. Let's position our camera a bit closer. Just press G and Y and move it inwards like this. Now we have a very basic white text. Let's click this text here and make sure you're on the material tab hit new we're going to use this um, default shader here and increase the metallic value to one and i'm going to decrease the roughness so about here and when you're happy with this now you can hit f12 on your keyboard and it renders super quickly because we're using ev the the real-time uh, render engine and to save our image just click the image here and hit save as you can type in the name of your file text and then you can also change um, the format if you want a jpeg you can choose that i'm going to make it a png rgb and i'm going to remove any compression and i'm going to hit save as image and that's it